That's the Bernstein Bear family. <laughs> They're kind of furry around the torso. They're a lot like people, only more so. The bear fact is that they're just like you and me. The only difference is they live in a tree. The Bernstein Bears. When things go wrong, <laughs> things might do. <laughs> You'll always be there for each other. The bear fact is that it can be sweet as honey. Sometimes you'll find they might be just plain funny. The Bernstein Bears. The Bernstein Bears. Cubs don't expect the big job they will get when they jump up and down and beg for a pet. Is it all better? As good as new. So long, Chirpy. I'm going to miss you. I wish we could have kept him. Nobody else has to let their pets go. Chirpy wasn't a pet, not a real pet. He belongs back in the wild where we first found him. Then I want to get a real pet. All the other cubs in the neighborhood have one. I don't know. Owning a pet is a big responsibility. But we took good care of Chirpy. We built that really nice nest for him with grass and dandelion fluff. I even read him bedtime stories. It's hard to find better care than that. Please. Please. Oh, okay, all right. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? A horse? We can ride it to school. Whoa! Nobody said anything about a horse. A horse would need a fenced corral with lots of room to run. Our yard's just too small. And do you know how much a horse eats? More oats than I can afford. We'll choose a pet carefully. One that's right for our family. And my pocketbook. Why don't you give it some more thought and let us know what you come up with. Okay. Did you see how far its tongue came out? See it? I felt it when it touched my fingers. It was gross. What about a turtle, Ben? They're cool, and they come with a free house. They do? Sure, you know, they're shells. Turtles are too... turtly. Huh? I want something that's warm and cuddly. If you want something warm and cuddly, why don't you just get your old blankie? Well, if you want a pet that's cold and slimy, you should get some slime. What's all the commotion about? None of the pets that sister wants are any fun. All the pets the brother wants are too weird. They are not. Are too. Now, settle down. We'll go to the pet store. Maybe they'll have something there you can both agree on. The pet store? Okay. Now remember, cubs. No. Nothing that eats bugs. <laughs> or smells bad. Hey, what's Farmer Ben doing? It looks like his chickens are on the loose. Let's give him a hand. Uh, come back here. Uh, heel. Uh, oh, boy. Uh, uh, sit. Heel? Sit? Hmm. Farmer Ben must be trying to train his chickens. Uh, uh. Puppies! Oh, they're so cute! 
Oh, these pups are, <laughs> are getting to be quite a, a handful. I'm going to have to put an ad in the paper to see if I can find them good homes. <laughs> can we have one, please? Mm, I don't know. We'll think about it. What do we have to think about? Well, for one thing, there are the vet bills to consider. Not to mention dog tags and licenses. All of that costs money. We can save up our allowance money to help pay for it. Oh, oh my. It is kind of cute. <laughs> we'll take it. Yay! We're getting a puppy! Let's call him Prince. <laughs> uh, that's a fine name for a boy dog, but I'm afraid the one you're holding is a little lady. Maybe that's what we should call her, Little Lady. You know, you see your new house, you're really going to like it. And this is where we keep all our toys. Hmm, let's see if I can find you a ball to play with. You like it when I rub your tummy, don't you? You like it even better when I scratch your ears, don't you? You can scratch her ears after I take her outside for a walk. No, I already told her I was taking her out. Okay, but when you get back, I'm playing with her. First, we're gonna teach her how to fetch a ball and jump through a hoop. Then we can take her to the playground and show her how to go down a slide. Huh? Uh-oh, where is she? I don't know, but I bet Sister does. You're just the cutest puppy. Yes, you are. What do you think you're doing? <gasps> I'm taking Lady over to Lizzie's house. It's my turn to look after her. Your turn? You've already had way more turns than I have. I have not. Have two. <laughs> Nice going! Now jump through the hoop! Way to go, lady! She sure is a fast learner. What did I tell you? She's amazing! Go get it, little lady! That a girl, you can do it! Where's she going? Hello, little lady. You're just in time for morning tea. I'm trying to train her for the dog show. Well, you can do that after our tea party. Besides, you've been playing with her all morning. It's my turn now. Sister, telephone. I'll be right back, lady. Uh-oh, our soccer game starts in 15 minutes. Soccer game? I forgot all about it. I'm going home to get my shin pads. I'll meet you there. It turns out you and lady can have your tea party after all. That's okay. You go ahead and train her for the dog show. No, I have to play soccer. The team really needs me. But that was Lizzie on the phone. She invited me to go to a movie with her. Before anyone goes anywhere, Lady left something on the porch. Oh, again? It's going to have to be cleaned up before somebody steps in it. What? Hey, don't look at me. It's not my turn. Well, don't look at me. I cleaned up her accident yesterday. It's your turn. No, it's your turn. I know how we can settle it. Heads is my turn, tails it's yours. Have fun. Best two out of three. <laughs> That's what I thought too. Good play! Go brother, yeah! <gasps> Sister? What are you doing here? What am I doing here? What are you doing here? 
You're supposed to be looking after Lady. No, I'm not. I won the coin toss, remember? That was for cleaning up her accident. It was for cleaning up her accident and looking after her. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. Well, if we aren't looking after her, who is? No, Lady! Stop! <laughs> this isn't good. Hello? Hi. Oh, the sofa! My chair! Maybe we should have asked for a goldfish instead. At least we wouldn't have gotten it into so much trouble. It's not fair to little lady. We should be the ones out in the doghouse. This vase is in more pieces than a jigsaw puzzle. What could have possibly gotten into her to do such a thing? We know what got into her. What do you mean? We weren't exactly looking after her when she got into trouble. You weren't looking after her? She didn't get outside for any exercise all afternoon. Not even a walk. That's why she wrecked the living room. She was just trying to have some fun. Looking after a puppy is a round-the-clock job. It isn't something you can just put off until later when it's more convenient. We're sorry. I guess we aren't very good puppy owners. Maybe you can make it up to her. How about giving her a little snack when you bring her back in? We can bring her back in the house? You mean it? After hearing what really happened, I think she deserves another chance. Come on, sis. Let's go tell her the good news. Uh-oh. Not again. You'd better go get the scooper. Me? It's your turn. No, it's not. Yes, it is. I know. Why don't we both clean it up? Okay. Mama and Papa are going out. Gramps and Gran are too. Who will stay at home with us? Not, Not just, just anyone, anyone will do. do. <laughs> okay, sis, get ready. Aren't you going to go and get it? Hey, I just hit them. I don't fetch them. Besides, it's your ball. Actually, it was your ball. My ball? You mean the one signed by Bear Ruth? Uh-huh. Well, what are we waiting for? Come on! <laughs> Shouldn't we ask Mrs. Grizzle first? Nah. Then we'd have to go all the way around. Uh-oh. Mrs. Grizzle isn't going to like that. Let's just find the ball and get out of here. It's got to be in here somewhere. You look over there. I'll look over here. Okay. Ow! Sister! Shh! Hello? Who's there? <gasps> Mrs. Grizzle. Now what do we do? Run for it! Come on. <sighs> oh. <sighs> oh! Let's get out of here! Whoa! In conclusion, I, Papa Q. Bear, demand that all of you, as elected members of our town council, Act now to reverse this outrageous, short-sighted decision. Is it really that serious if they stop serving coffee and donuts, dear? They're refreshments. And a bear needs to be refreshed at these endless meetings. Did you say you're going to a meeting? That's right. Oh, when are Gramps and Gran coming over to look after us? I'm afraid they're going to the meeting, too. So are Aunt Maud and Cousin Wilbur. I had to arrange for a new sitter. Who? Mrs. Grizzle.
Mrs. Grizzle? Yes. <laughs> What's wrong with Mrs. Grizzle? Well, uh, uh, nothing's wrong with her. It's, it's just that she's never looked after us before. What if she doesn't know how? Oh, I think she's quite capable. Mrs. Grizzle has raised seven cubs of her own. You can't get better qualifications than that. Oh, there she is now. If she sees us, we're goners. I know. Evening, all. Hello, Mrs. Grizzle. Come right in. I don't know where the cubs got to. They were here a minute ago. Oh, I'll find them. Now you two better skedaddle off to your meeting. We'll try not to be too late. Oh, don't worry about us. We'll be just fine. Goodbye. So long. Have a nice time now. Hello, brother and sister. Hi. Hello. Oh, it's so nice to see young folks reading. Now then, who'd like to help me make a tasty treat? Uh, I'm not very hungry. Um, me neither. Oh, well, I'll go ahead and make something anyway. Maybe you'll be hungry later on. That was a close one. Now what do we do? Let's go upstairs. She won't bother climbing all those steps. <laughs> Sorry about that, sis. <laughs> Apology accepted. Brother! Huh? Sister! She's coming! Hurry, get the lights! Hello? Oh, gone to bed so early? It's only seven o'clock. Oh, uh, we're really tired. We like going to bed early. Hmm. I guess you'll have to eat these cookies tomorrow. Good night, then. Good night. Aw, <sighs> oh, honeycomb, oatmeal, chocolate chip. I know. I can almost taste them. Oh. We'll just have to wait until tomorrow. I guess so. If she saw who we were, she wouldn't give us a cookie anyway. Not after what we did. You've got that right. She'd be really mad. Hey, you're those cubs that wrecked my flowers. Grrr. And soaked me with the sprinkler. Listen, she's playing the piano. Yes, in the living room. Oh, and the cookies are in the kitchen. Mmm, delicious. They'd be even better with a glass of milk. Careful. Whoa! Well, look who's out of bed. Oh, don't worry about a little spilled milk. I'll get a mop and clean that up in a jiffy. She didn't recognize us. I know. Maybe she couldn't get a good look at us with that water sprinkler spraying in her face. The issue of plugged sewers is of great concern to our town council. And I can assure you that we will reach a decision on that matter at the appropriate time. It looks like this is your chance. <clears throat> Last month, the town council approved a new garbage dump right behind my house. I want to know whose idea that was. Can you believe that? Some folks will complain about anything. Now then, who wants to play a game? We have go fish, dominoes, and tiddlywinks. Tiddlywinks? What's that? Well, here, I'll show you. These are the winks. You just press the edge with the tiddly and... <laughs> nice shot, Mrs. Grizzle. Nothing but net. Uh, I mean shell. <laughs> <laughs> I want to try. Me too. 
Five minutes to nine, and not a chance to get a word in edgewise. I'd better phone home and see how the cubs are doing. The issue of Cranberry Bog is of great concern to our town council. And I can assure you that we will reach a decision on the matter at the appropriate time. Woohoo! We did it! We used all the dominoes! It's the Empire Bear Building. Tallest building in all of bear country. Oh, there's my tea kettle calling. Mrs. Grizzle is nice. She's really nice. It makes me feel even worse about not telling her. Me too. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? How would you two like a cup of hot chocolate? Oh, look at the long faces. You think I was serving up cod liver oil. You don't like hot chocolate? It's not that. It's just that... Um, well... We have to apologize about something. We're the ones who wrecked your flowers. And knocked over your scarecrow. And sprayed you with the sprinkler. I'm sorry. Me too. You know, that reminds me. You'll be wanting this, won't you? My bear Ruth ball! <laughs> I thought you might want it back. That's quite a collector's item. You mean... You knew it was us? <laughs> of course. I know all the cubs in the neighborhood. And you're not mad? <laughs> oh, no one likes a cold shower, but I got over it. Once I found your ball, I figured out what was going on. It was an accident. Oh, sure it was. We can help you replant your flowers. And fix your scarecrow, too. It's a deal. <coughs> Rising taxes are a great concern to our town council, and I can assure you that we will reach a decision on the matter at the appropriate time. <clears throat> As I was trying to say earlier, it has come to my attention that the town council has taken the regretful step of... I couldn't get an answer at home. I'm worried that there's something wrong. <laughs> Let me assure you, gentlemen, you haven't heard the last of Papa Q Bear. And over there is the constellation Ursa Minor, the little bear. Hey, how about that, sis? There's a big bear and a little bear. There you are. Mama, Papa, Mrs. Grizzle is showing us some constellations. And before that, we played a whole bunch of new games. Mrs. Grizzle says I'm going to be the next Tiddlywinks champ. That's my girl. It looks like we rushed home early for nothing, dear. I suppose we could go back. Would that be all right with you, Mrs. Grizzle? It's fine by me. I was looking forward to telling the cubs a bedtime story. Great! I can't wait! Come on, Mrs. Grizzle. It's time to tuck us in. <laughs> I'm coming. I'm coming. See you folks later. Thanks, Mrs. Grizzle. Good night, cubs. Good night. Well, dear, shall we be going? You know, I'm so tired. I forgot what I was all fired up about. Oh? What do you say we get a couple of chairs, set them under the cubs' window, and listen to Mrs. Grizzle's bedtime story? I think that's a fine idea.